Israel-Gaza Iran War News Live Update The military declares Lebanon offensive ready, and Hezbollah threatens Israel. Hezbollah warned Wednesday that Israel would not spare it in a confrontation after it approved a Lebanon offensive, increasing fears of a Gaza-wide conflict. Hassan Nasrallah, head of Hezbollah, claimed no place in Israel will be spared our rockets in a televised address amid rising tensions between Israel and Lebanon. Nasrallah, whose Iran-backed force has clashed with Israel nearly daily since Hamas's October 7 strike, also threatened Cyprus if it gave its airports or bases to Israel to hit Lebanon. Advertisement The Cypriot government does not control two British military outposts, including an airbase, on the Mediterranean island. President Nikos Christodoulides said Cyprus was part of the solution in a maritime humanitarian corridor to Gaza recognized by the entire international community and denied involvement in the war. Israeli airstrikes and soldiers fighting Hamas militants continued in Gaza. Medical personnel confirmed seven deaths from Israeli drone strikes and shelling in western Rafah, according to witnesses and the Hamas-run Gaza Strip Civil Defense Organization. Medics at the European hospital in Khan Yunus informed AFP that an Israeli air strike killed a gathering of Palestinians waiting for assistance vehicles on Salah al-Din Road east of Rafah city. During Israeli shelling on western Rafah, Islamic Jihad, a Hamas ally, reported its members were fighting forces. War has spread, attracting Iran-backed forces, claiming solidarity with Gazans. Enhanced Abilities On Tuesday, the Israeli military said that operational plans for an offensive in Lebanon were approved and validated, raising concerns that Israel may invade Lebanon. Israel reported on Wednesday that its airplanes had bombed Hezbollah locations in southern Lebanon overnight and that a Hezbollah drone had infiltrated near Mechila and targeted troops. Meanwhile, Hezbollah reported four fighter deaths. The National News Agency reported Israeli strikes on various South Lebanon areas on Wednesday morning, including Qayyum, where an AFP photographer witnessed a massive cloud of smoke. Later, Hezbollah stated it launched dozens of Katyusha rockets and artillery rounds at a Kiryat Shmona garrison in northern Israel in response to the attacks. Israel said its artillery struck the sources of fire and that Hezbollah inflicted no injuries. The day before, the Islamist group released a nine-minute video of aerial footage supposedly shot over northern Israel, including Haifa's vital military, defense, and energy institutions and infrastructure. Advertisement Israeli military leader Lt. Gen. Herzi Halabai said the video demonstrated a capacity that we knew about and that Israel was creating methods to deal with it while visiting troops on the northern frontier. He said, we of course have much larger capabilities. Total War As U.S. Ambassador Amos Hochstein visited Lebanon to promote de-escalation, the Israeli army announced its intentions for an invasion in Lebanon and Foreign Minister Israel Katz warned of Hezbollah's destruction in a complete war. After meetings in Lebanon, Hochstein returned to Israel on Tuesday evening for fresh talks with Netanyahu, an Israeli official said. One former Israeli security official told AFP the clearance would lead to an operation in Lebanon within a few weeks, while another said the administration was more interested in a ceasefire. AFP reports that cross-border violence in Lebanon has killed at least 478 people, mostly fighters, but also 93 civilians. Israeli authorities report 15 soldiers and 11 civilians killed in the north. Syrian state television said that an Israeli strike on southern military locations killed an army officer on Wednesday. Israel has not addressed the report. Drastic deterioration in help.